Welcome back, art students. In today's lesson, we will create the Rainbow Build Toucan. Toucans live in South and Central America in the canopy layer of the rainforest. The canopy layer of the rainforest rises high above the ground with a tangled mix of vegetation, including branches, vines, and trees of different sizes. Toucans make their homes in holes of the tree and live in small flocks of six to 12 birds. They are omnivorous birds that feed on fruits, seeds, insects, lizards, snakes, and small birds and their eggs. There are over 40 different types of toucans in the world. Ready to begin? In this lesson, you will need black Sharpie, oil pastels, and crayons if you do not have oil pastels, watercolor paints, paintbrush, and a cup for rinsing your paintbrush. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with our black Sharpie marker. All right, so we have here the top, the bottom, and the middle, and we're going to find the middle of our paper here and make a dot to start right in the middle. And from here, we're going to draw a curved line down off the page. We're drawing this part of the bill. I'm going to close this shape here straight line right off the page this bottom corner here we're going to go down and a small curve Now we're going to make the top of our toucan. Starting at the top of the beak here, the bill, we're going to make a rounded line up and right off the page. Up. Underneath its bill, the very bottom of its beak, Make a short line, not to the bottom. And you're going to make some curved lines right off the page. Starting with those curved lines, make a round curved line to the bottom of the page. Okay, so we're going to put his eye right here. We've got this wide, big spot, the top of his bill. And I'm going to make one round, large circle. And then I'm going to make a smaller circle on the inside. I'm going to shade in the small circle, black. Okay, so right above his eye, we're going to touch the bill and we're going to make a curved line up and over the eye, right off the page. All right, we are ready to fill in our Rainbow Bill Toucan with our bright color. So today I'm using oil pastels and they work really well because they're very oily and waxy and they blend and you can work quickly with them if you don't have oil pastels crayons work as well so use what you have okay let's start with our orange find an orange and in the center of his bill 
we're going to make this sort of carrot shape right in the center. So I'm going to make a straight line up. And then you're going to make a straight line down right that center line. We're going to shade in that triangle shape now. Remember to press down hard using crayons. You don't have to press down as hard using oil pastels, but to get that really bright color, it's important to press down hard. Okay, next we will use our red. Find your red. And we're going to make a straight line on the tip of our bill. From the top all the way to the bottom. Okay, there's a little bit of purple just at the tip of a toucan bill. So on the top, I'm just going to put a little bit of purple. Next, shade in this red portion of the bill. Now remember, if I'm going too fast, or if you need time to find your color, just go ahead and hit pause, and you can catch right back up. Okay. Next, we're going to do this blue portion of our bill. I chose a light blue. We're using lots of colors that you see in the rainbow. This is where it gets its name, the Rainbow Build Toucan. Another name for this Rainbow Build Toucan is the Killed Build Toucan. Okay, so the bottom portion of the bill, we're going to touch the bottom and we're gonna make a straight line up. I've made another triangle shade in that triangle with your light blue. All right. We're going to now use our yellow, find your yellow. And for this, we're going to just highlight the top of its bill with yellow. So I'm just going to make a nice yellow wide. Whoops, that happens. You can still use them all the way down to the very bottom. That's a nice highlight, okay. Next, your light green. And we're going to fill in the rest of the bill with light green. So I'm going to trace my shape so I know where I'm going to color. I'm try very hard to stay inside that bill. Okay. and shade in the rest with your light green. Now using oil pastels, I can color really in lots of di different directions and you don't see my lines. Now, when you're using crayons, it's nice to press down hard and try to color in the same direction you get nice smooth look this way.
and I can go right over that black line. Okay, our bill looks finished. All right, using our, let's see, our light blue, we're going to just trace around that black eye that we made. I'm gonna give it a little bit of blue around its eye. It's okay to go into the black a little bit. Now we're going to use our light green and we're going to go around that light blue. It's okay going right over that, the black line that we made. These are just some feathers that highlight the bird, the toucan's eyes. Okay. Next, let's go ahead and shade in the top of our toucan. Uh, toucans have their, this one is black, but there's a little bit of blue, dark blue, if you look closely, shining through. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to use a dark blue. And then if I have any white spots left over, I'm going to use a dark blue to fill them in to make my toucan look like it has lots of feathers. So let's start shading in the top of our toucan now. So I'm going to trace this shape here, the top of its head. And it's okay that it's kind of bumpy. It looks nice. I think when it's bumpy, it looks like feathers maybe poking out. And now we're going to shade in this space here. I'm using a really dark blue, but you'll see that I can kind of put a little bit of blue in there. To shade in those white areas. But it's mostly black. Okay. Top looks pretty good. Okay, next I'd like for you to find your red, please. And we're going to trace, using our red, this curved line on its head. So find the red, the curved line, and you're just going to trace with red. And now we'll make some scratchy red lines up and down, but not going over that curved line. Okay. Next, you find your yellow, and we're going to shade in our toucan's head here with yellow. The whole space. If you're using oil pastels, be careful when you're going near the black. Oil pastels blend very nice, um, but sometimes they can kind of pull the color in. They blend easily. I like using oil pastels because you can work pretty quickly. You can see some of the colors from my oil pastels coming through my yellow. There's a little bit of black and red in there just by accident, but I think it looks nice. It looks like feathers.
some red came through. And that happens, but I think that looks nice. You can even, when you have, when you're using oil pastels, you can even scratch off some of that color sometimes if it's not where you want it to be. Okay, next find your orange. And we're simply going to trace that bumpy line, a curved line. And now we're going to add some scratchy orange right above. We did the red below, and now we're going to do some scratchy orange right above. Okay, great. All right, next find your black, and you're going to shade in the bottom portion of your toucan. Going right up to that red. Okay, I have some white spots in there, so I'm going to shade in those white spots with my dark blue. Blend those colors together. You can see it just a little bit. Okay, our toucan is complete. Now we get to shade in the background. So for our background, I've made a large palm going right over our toucan, and I made a smaller one here and one small flower. You really can put as many flowers as you like all over your the background, make it look very tropical. Okay, to start, we're going to use a dark green. So find your dark green. And I'm going to make a curve line starting off the page, just at the edge here. This curve line is going to go up and over my toucan and stop, okay? Starting just at the very edge of my paper. It's sort of, it's growing, it's, the rest of the plant is off the page. So it's gonna go up, up and over and stop. And let's make small leaf at the very tip and shade that in. Okay, and now we're going to make a short line and a little bit longer line, leaving a little bit of space between these lines. Short, a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little longer, a little bit longer, and my lines are curved. When I get to my toucan, I'm going to stop. My leaf is going behind my toucan. Okay, now let's do the other side. So start with a short line, curve line up. Up. It's a little bit longer, a little longer. Now these are, lines are going to go right off the page. Must be a really big leaf. Okay, now we're going to put a little bit more green. Let's see, let's start at the bottom. Starting with the stem of our leaf, the center line, I'm going to simply just put a little bit more green to make it kind of wider. Just adding a little green at the base. Just thicken that line. don't have 
to go all the way to the top. Okay, let's do the other side. Just thicken that line a little bit, adding a little more green. Sort of goes from wide to a little more thin, thick to thin. Okay, that looks pretty nice. Okay, next let's make a beautiful tropical flower here. And I'm going to start with my pink. So with my pink, I'm going to make a straight line up, another straight line up. And I'm going to sort of make a squared top of my petal. Okay. Straight line down, straight line down, square top. Okay, now the side petals, straight line, straight line, square off the top. We'll make this one go right behind the toucan. Okay, next find your yellow. We're going to just add some really nice yellow highlights to the center of our tropical flower. I'm just going to find the center and I'm just going to push some of the yellow from the center out. I'm not shading in my whole pink flower. Just a burst of yellow. Okay. Find your red and touch the center. Make a little mark with your red and make a straight line up and out of your flower. And then we will put one, two, three just the tip of our flower. Go ahead and shade in the rest of your flower pink. Okay, all right. Now find your dark green again and we're going to make a palm just kind of come around our flower. So starting with the corner, put your dark green there and make a curve line over your flower. Okay, and a little leaf right at the very tip. And let's start with the top. So we'll make a short line, a little bit longer a little bit longer, all the way off our paper. Now the other side, short line, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Now pick up your, your green if you hit the flower. Okay, and just like we sort of thickened our lines on our top palm leaf, we're going to do the same for our bottom palm. Okay, so you're going to just start at the stem and just add a little bit of green to thicken up that palm leaf. Just a little bit of green by the stem. all the way to the bottom. Okay, now let's do the other side. And 
as I mentioned before, the canopy of the rainforest is thick with lots of vegetation and a lot of plants. So your plants might look completely different than mine. Maybe you'll add vines or bigger or smaller leaves. Okay, now we get to shade in the background using our watercolor paints. I'm going to get my paintbrush wet, shake off any of the extra water, and I'm going to paint the background of my toucan blue. Now you can choose really any color you like. If you're doing a sunset, you can choose purples and pinks or orange and yellows. I've chosen blue and using oil pastels, I can just go right over and it just runs right off using the watercolor. And the same with the crayons, but it's a very nice effect. If I have any of those puddles here, I can take my paintbrush and just push that wet water right off of the page. Try not to leave any white spots. Okay, now I'm going to shade in the bottom with my blue. Now you can carefully go around your flower to not get any blue on it, or you can simply go right over it. And I'll show you what a little trick we can do here. With our little paper towel, if there's too much of one color, I can take my paper towel and just wrap my finger in it, and I can just brush off any extra watercolor that I don't want on that area. Okay. And the same for my toucan. So I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to go right over my toucan with my blue. And if there are any white spots, it will fill in that area that's white really nice. And it'll just look like more colorful feathers. Looks pretty blue now, but we'll we'll dry it so it's not so so many little puddles. This just fills in the whole piece of art nicely. Okay, so using your paper towel, take your finger and wrap the paper towel in it, and you can simply just dry off any extra puddles. But I like seeing some of that blue come through. I think that looks really nice. Looks like a colorful toucan. Okay, there you have a beautiful rainbow build toucan. Okay, thanks for painting with me today. I hope you had fun. See you next time. Bye.